going on, everybody? Yeah, how are you here? <laughs> See what I'm saying? See how you be trying to get me in trouble? Uh, trying to get me in it's trouble? Too, it, is, is it too early? Is too it too early? early? Yeah, he's trying to get <laughs> me in trouble. Let, it's too early. Let him know, man. bud. Let him know. Let him know. Yeah, here flexing for the camera. But uh, I can't even yawn without Justin trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what? uh, what's going on youtube man like youtube land this is gonna be a day i can already tell justin is in rare form he's way too happy to start the day anytime he starts off happy i pay for it with my happiness so that being uh, said funny. thank you guys so much for tapping in with the shop boys you already know what time it is please make sure you tip the barbers aka hit the like and subscribe button turn the notification bells on so you get notified every time we go live and put out a video it is Tuesday, the day the market stood still because the guy with the purple tie is already ready to wreck the market or maybe pump the market. I really don't think he got anything to say today, but you already know anytime Jerome Powell is on the list of things to do, the market starts acting like this. So we got our we got our rare Monday where we dumped 500 points. Everybody in their mama that missed it, including me, because I, I mean, I, I make money, but I didn't participate in the majority of the dump. But everybody that missed it today, guess what they're going to be trying to do? They're going to be trying to either short the market, long the market. They're going to want, want to make some money. These are days that I've learned over time to just be patient and just wait for the setups. And if the setups aren't there, then just hang out, right? I got some things scheduled. I got like three appointments I got to go to. I got to go see the tax person, physical therapy, and uh, I think that's it. Oh, and then I got to cook today. But other than that, Jay, how was your night last night, man? How you feeling about the trading day, brother? Uh, my night was straight. Um, I don't know, man. I'm like, I'm really considering getting back into Warzone. Like, I've been watching a whole bunch of Warzone videos. I'm like, man, I, I got that itch to like play Warzone a little bit. But yeah, I got to um, go finish up Spider Man. For sure. Yeah, I don't. I, I just got this itch to play again. Like, it just looks so fun. But um, I reviewed Price. Um, a little bit yesterday i went i went back through the tape again just looking and seeing some minute details that i might have missed um and then yeah i think i i rewatched like one of carmine's videos and i fell asleep so it was pretty pretty oh, chill night i was asleep to your mentors no voice. i did not i did i did not fall asleep that's to his voice so, i watched the video so and then i went to sleep I, so did, I, did, I, just, I did not fall I asleep just imagine you, you snoring and listening to carmine you know you, you know who i did fall you know who i did fall asleep to on on, on sunday though me. i was Please watching uh me. no no don't i was me. i was watching uh what's his face on live um danny danny was trading live on on uh on sunday that's night. awesome that you were so i did fall asleep listening to danny he put me to sleep that's yeah, that's so, he took hey. you he took you into hey hey man look he could tuck me in with his millions of dollars in his car hey, I, I whoa what bro, it is too <laughs> early for you justin it hey, is no too diddy. early for you he back. Can no. me in, boy i'm done all right moving on let's jump right into this pre-market plan for nq justin can knock out es right after uh i got the macro the overnight session remained range bound and was unable to retrace, right? Successfully retrace yet, right? Well, it didn't do it because the overnight session is over. It appears bulls have built value at the lows of the range and will look to push out of the range. And then in the in the uh, Discord, I actually put a theme for the day now. I've started to add that. I don't know if you saw that, Jake, but- Yeah, I did, I saw it, I saw it. Um, the, the theme is we fail too fast, right? Anytime we fall this fast, it's just like if a candle drops really fast on the one minute you you anticipate some type of pullback right like it's just it's just how the market moves like the market doesn't like to leave these huge gaps does it mean that we'll do it right away because this is the hour and the four hour no we could just be building value to go lower but my thought process is we fail too fast that's the theme therefore i'm anticipating somewhat of a push at the open right now if we're gonna push it open um, I would like to, I would prefer a stop at this demand zone because this demand zone is super important. And before I go through it, I want to show you where it came from. This is a four hour, basically the low right here on February 21st. This was Nvidia's earnings day. And I'm pretty sure everybody here remembers it because we were all waiting in anticipation for this market to go absolutely haywire. And since that time, the market hasn't come back to retest this level. This area is the first tap 
of that low that brought basically all time highs. So the question is, will the bulls be strong enough to start pushing this market back up down here? So therefore, I would love to see the, this liquidity tap again. So I'm looking for buyers to defend four hour demand at 17775.75 through 17624.25. And we can look to long the market first targeting the top of this range at 17938. Right, the daily fib at 18.09350, and then one hour supply at 18.15850 through 18.223. All right, that's my bullish plan. To the bearish side, I'm only looking for one bearish plan, and I would love to see it happen, but it does come with two caveats. First caveat: look to short weak rallies in the one hour supply 18.158.50 through 18.223. Look to target four hour demand at 17,775, the big one that we just talked about down here. The caveat is, the second caveat is daily fib can also act as resistance. A lot of times the daily fib lines up with something we call settlement price, which today it doesn't. Settlement price is actually in my supply zone. So that makes me feel better as well. But daily fib is basically 50% of yesterday's daily uh, candle. Therefore, I'll look for resistance. I'll look for sellers to step in to defend the 50% level as well at 18.09350. I didn't write that in my plan, but it's something that I'll be watching because we got something similar to that yesterday when I was looking for supply, we actually ended up rejecting the previous day high instead. So the daily fib lines up with all of this consolidation right here. So I really like this area. So anywhere in between this area is where I'm gonna be looking to uh, play the market short. I'm not looking really to participate in this range at all. Even though I understand how to trade the range, I'm just not in the mood, right? Like, I'm just not. If we stay in this range all day, the market, I just won't trade. This is it. That's how I'm resigned to, to believe. So those are my thoughts on NQ. I'll let Justin tackle ES, and then we'll break down VIX and the other stocks. Yeah, so real fast, before I talk about ES, there's one other level um, on NQ that I have that's kind of interesting to me. Uh, it's 1890 to 1853. Um, we broke up, we broke under it yesterday. This is basically used to be demand, but now I'm looking at it as uh, another supply. If we just scroll back, like you can see how many times we touched in this area once, twice, three times. We got below it, get, got back above it, came back and retested it a fourth time. All these tests here, right here, we tested it. We tested it again. Like there, this this area got tested multiple times and continued to bounce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was uh, the previous. This was like basically a retest of 18,000 level. This was this mm -hmm. was that huge demand zone that we just kept yeah. tapping, tapping, tapping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, so so I just have an area right here where I'm looking for price to come back to today because I'm I'm with Hobbs as well that price is going to come back up here. Like we fell way too far for them not to start to gobble up price back to the upside. So this is the area where I'm looking for price to come back and reject. Not only that, but this area happens to be in the 50% uh, fib that you were looking at on the mm -hmm. day of yesterday this area is within that 50 percent as well so kind of multiple confluences to have this kind of area on the chart just for an area to watch for a potential um rejection so just something yeah, i wanted I to add about it had a little gray box right there yeah yeah I, I like this area a lot there's a, there's this kind of the same area on es as well it's a little bit higher up though or lower down um but it's an area I'm also watching on uh, on ES. It's 51.29.75 to 51.21.25. Um, it's an area that I'm watching for a potential rejection, although I would like it to be higher. So um, maybe being bearish as long as we're below this level, but being bullish once we get above for a potential break and retest to come up a little bit higher. Uh, but I do have a four hour supply zone at 51.90. And then like Hobbs was saying, that same uh, demand zone down here at 50. 4675 um which was that was from the 21st february which caused that massive rally so um yeah i expect if we come back down here which this is a lot lower than uh where we're at on nq but if we come back down here i do expect for bulls to try to defend this area because it's, it's very very key and like hobbs was saying this if this low gets broken i mean there's not much standing in our way to continue down lower so we don't want to see this low get broken. We want to see them defend this low. If you're going to, if you want to be a bull, if you want to be a bear, then you definitely want to see this low get taken out. Um, but yeah, uh, shorting, shorting up here. And then the 
potentially shorting here or a break and retest of this area right here is is my current plan for es yeah no doubt um <laughs> before we go any further good morning mike I feel bad for Mike. He says, I got cooked last night on gold. I don't know if I'm ready for his glitchy moves on Globex. So one thing you got to realize about gold is basically, especially during Tokyo session, it's basically in queue for Tokyo. So it moves really fast, but when it's range bound, you got to be careful that you understand the structure because it'll fake, fake you out. So when I saw it last night, um, at 9 30 which is the time i usually trade it i don't even come to my office if if my alarm come goes off at 9 30 and i look at the chart and we're consolidating i don't even get up like i you ask my wife i, I will not move like my homeboy pippy he'll text me hey man play this range i'm like nope i don't play the range and it's for that reason because it's, it's super glitchy not glitchy but it's, it spikes really fast and i don't like to trade it unless it's gonna trend that's basically one of my rules and when it's ready to sell off, man, it's, that thing sells off, but it takes a longer time. Like when it, for whatever reason, when it's going bearish, it doesn't really apply at 930. It goes bearish like at like 11, 10 o'clock at night. So yeah, just save your account, man. Like just stay out of the, the t just stick with the session that you normally trade. And if you want to trade other indices, like trade them during that session until you do your own research on go like just don't take my word for it and go trade it at 9 30 because i've done a, i've I, i've done trial and error on it right like i've done trial and error on it where it's like okay i know when to get up off my couch and go trade it and i know when to sit my butt down and keep watching law and order with my wife right because i've gotten chopped up by the the consolidation right so when it's consolidating i just i don't touch it bro i just don't so i just wanted to give you that little nugget but all right, so let's uh, let's break down the volatility index because I think it's telling us a story as well. Um, yesterday, um, we had this aggressive push by the sellers, right? We understand that the volatility index still follows structure. So what will we anticipate after a break of a high semi consolidation and then the previous high and the previous low to act as some type of support? In addition to that, we have... Uh, we have settlement price here at 17.1. So I'm looking for NQ, I mean NQ. I'm looking for the volatility index to come back and retest this one hour demand zone right here. I'm not gonna mark it, but that's where I'm gonna be looking. Um, I'll be looking for it to retest basically 17.20. Um, so if we're gonna go up, I expect the volatility index to come down here, test 17.20. If we can't hold 17.20, then go back and test 16.30 for a nice rally up we are in supply on the four hour so i'm anticipating um a sell down because we did break we did change character dropping below 1885 maybe we push up one more time which would support my thesis on nq of nq pushing down into demand we push up one more time sweep the high to put in that head come down and then put in that head and shoulders and then we start trading down on the vix which would mean that it would be time to start longing uh in q so structurally just remember if you understand structure it works for everything it doesn't it doesn't just apply to in q and es it works for everything so just based off structure the vix looks ready to potentially uh it looks like it could potentially uh start to pull back if we fail when we on the hour chart if we fail when we come back up here to retest this high so Jay, if you want to break down the stocks, or if you have them up, if you don't have them up, I'll um, no, nah, I got them up. Uh, the stocks, they was down, they was down, mm -hmm. down, 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 down. We got Google, which broke below uh, a previous all-time high. Um, it broke below its previous all-time high actually on uh, on Friday when we came back down. And yeah, this thing is completely selling off. I couldn't find any really good demand zones on here, but I do have this like really nice resistance right here that we bounced off of a few times. So I'll be watching that area. Also, I'll be watching to see if we can't get above this previous all time high, because a lot of times these all these previous all time highs act as really nice, um, mm -hmm. really nice support once you get back above it or resistance, especially gold. Gold, it's been nuts. Um, but Apple sold off really nicely from our supply zone, this four hour supply zone. So if you had that and you were playing options, you could have ate there 
We're continuing to come down. We're gapping down in pre-market. Uh, Nvidia, same thing, coming down. And then um, same thing on uh, on Microsoft. Everything's coming down. So um, what I would like to see from the stocks, honestly, I'd like to see a rally. A really weak rally, but a rally. So watching these stocks this morning, hopefully they can kind of start to get going a little bit and we can start to push up to come down further is, is what I'm is what I'm hoping for. So that's what I yeah. got. <clears throat> I, I agree, but I again I I would love to yeah the, I, I, yeah I think that's what you just said a relief bounce and then come down further yeah yeah I don't think the downtrend's over and I there was something that I was reading what was it I think it was me Kevin did a video yesterday he was talking about like the banks have kind of been lying to us or whatever <laughs> he was so me Kevin is like so animated man like he is extremely animated when he gives like these breakdowns like he feels like I feel like I'm watching an investigative reporter break down data ultimately what i got out of it is the banks are acting like everything's okay but they're experiencing huge amounts of default right and bailouts for people that are holding credit cards right so that's not really good for the banks like to have that many write-offs and when i say that many i think at one point he said like from like 2023 2023 to now like they're up like 105 percent and 80 percent um, with with like credit card write offs and stuff like that, which is basically just throwing money out of the window. So does that mean the banks are in trouble? Probably not. They can't lose. Right. But at the oh, same yeah, time, it doesn't bode well. It doesn't bode well for the economy and the consumer. Right. So um, it's just a lot of negativity surrounding the market that in the meantime, the rally just continues to go up. It just doesn't make any sense. So um, the rally's never really made sense to me like it, it like honestly I've, I've always been like this rally makes no sense with the news that we've gotten but the market doesn't care it just continues to look forward you know so um the one thing i'll say is i'm i'm really looking forward to a clean sell-off right like i'm i really want to see this market get through these levels and really push this volatility index up like i'm just waiting on some type of black swan um, it felt like we were getting one this weekend and then it just died out because all the missiles got shot down, all the drones got shot down. But I think we need something to push fear into this market. And yesterday was a really good start to a sell off, but I want to see a lot more. Like, I think we need to come down to like 15,000 ish area. Like if you look at the monthly, we've been ripping since October. Right. Like <laughs> this market needs to slow down. So and match where we are. And and if you think about it, since COVID, we really didn't pay for all of that inflation. The the economy hasn't gone into a recession yet. And I just feel like that's coming. That's around the corner at some point. We got to pay for all of that money being pumped into the market. And we're trying to like have this quote unquote soft landing and act like that never really happened. But that's just not how the economy works. Like we're going to pay for it at some point and, and the stock market is going to fill it. So. Those are just my little outside thoughts. And uh, yeah, I, I'd love to hear from the chat and see what you guys got going on here. But everybody's sleeping right now. So yeah, maybe everybody's like quiet today. What's up with yeah, you? Everybody's everybody. Everybody waiting on Powell to speak. They like, man, I'm not coming to the market until one o'clock. <laughs> Being extra I won't quiet. even be here after he speaks. I got to go uh, sign for our taxes and stuff. Uh, boy, it's a good morning. What's up? YouTube didn't get the notification bell. Huh? interesting uh, yeah i mean that happens youtube be glitchy so sometimes sometimes youtube just i don't know it just forgets to send a notification out look at the big still pumping man should be coming up though like i expect i anticipate yeah. it coming up and then potentially losing some steam oh, yeah. All right, we got we 10 have... minutes to the open and we're still in this freaking range. Like, this is crazy. <clears throat> okay, yeah, we didn't have news this morning, did we? Our no. only real our only real news is uh Kyle speaking. There is a there is a speaker like 15 minutes before he speaks, barking. You got but... a yellow folder news, but it's like you don't Oh, industrial production. Yeah, yeah, I've never what even the seen hell is that? Do anything. <laughs> yeah, I like hey. <laughs> 
It's got to be bad when you're a, when you're an FOMC speaker and you look at the calendar and your speech is only a yellow folder speech while you got others yeah, being a cause, orange cause, folder. It's freaking <laughs> I was speaking today. It's like, bro, you mean nothing to the market today. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Jefferson started speaking at nine and he's yellow folder. So it's like, oh, nobody cares about Jefferson. Nobody so cares about Jefferson. Like, whatever you say, bro. Like, we don't care about you. What is Powell going to say? You know that's what's gonna happen. That's when the volatility is gonna really kick in. When that, oh, when that yeah. man starts Facts. speaking, they're gonna be like, sell, buy, sell, 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 buy, 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 buy. <laughs> and then uh, Chicago Sean. Good. Chicago Sean said, You're making up my charts. Hey, let's go, let's go. Let's Boy said it, it didn't show it. it didn't even show on uh the homepage. Get yourself together, YouTube. Yeah, we might not just have been in your algorithm, maybe. I don't know. Like, cause the homepage is gonna show what it wants to show, not what you know. It won't always show the people who you're following. So I would love for us to get on the homepage of like every single person. Then, you know, everybody just come in here and, you know, it'd be dope. We have like a million people in here. It'd be fired. But, you know. Hey, man, one day at a time, baby. You got to crawl before you walk. Nah, we got to fly before we can run. Let's go. Anyway, uh, Tang Clan Emperor says, I don't like this. I was so right. This market was coming down, but wasn't expected to come down based off of war news. LOL. Is that Emmett? Is that Emmett? Yeah, I think that's Emmett. <laughs> you said his oh. name like you don't know who that is. I, I, yeah, I, I think miss, that's I, Emmett. <laughs> why is your name Tang Clan Emperor? Let, like, let's just start with that. Is, is this like a is that like a game or something? Like, let's unpack yeah. this first before we talk about the war news. Where did you get your so, name from? Yeah, we're pulling back, Emmett. I, I still, I'm still like I. Below 18,000, I said I would be bearish, but I also said there was one more level that I was very interested in, and that's 17,775. That's where we are right now. So, that, and honestly, I don't really care. Like, down, up, up, down, A, B, select, start, don't matter to me. Like, it, it is what it is. Wherever we are in price, do it. Do it. Give me your worst, market. Give me your worst. I'm I love the sell offs the because they're just so names. much more volatile. Hey, good morning, John. What up, John? And, it's and, an uh, anime says, character. It's an anime character. How dare you not know this, Justin? Bro, <laughs> I've never heard of Tang Clan Emperor a day well, in my you life. You need to start what, Googling. What, what start anime Googling. is it? Is it from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Kaya says, just wanted to uh, say good morning. May 1700 on PAs today, Ooh. so done for the day. I just kept scapping this double top. <laughs> on the five minutes till it was done hey congrats brother congrats man i'm really loving your growth man like that's so awesome to see you you know getting getting some of that get back of all those accounts we was blowing back in the day right hell yeah hell <laughs> yeah hot wu-tang clan joints <laughs> it, that that is what it sounds like boy it is what it sounds like uh, that's the bbq says good morning finally my friday your friday is a tuesday <laughs> right hey. I mean, my Friday is every day of the week, so. The Friday, you know, like, Friday is Friday, bro. Yeah. Friday is Friday. Tuesday Friday. is Tuesday. My Friday the is anime Wednesday. show Soul Land, huh? You know, I just started watching a. I just started watching a new anime called Go Go Loser Rangers, and it's like a spoof of the Power Rangers. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's actually pretty funny. Yeah, it is funny. All right, we're uh, roughly about seven minutes till the open. Uh, Micaiah's done for the day. It's looking like we're stepping into this first macro bearish. Therefore, I'm looking for us to push up out of this macro. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to let the market kind of settle out. out of, I, I, I want to see us get out of this range before I let it take anything long or short. I'm definitely open to shorting the market. But for me... Like I, I want to see, I want to see us either dip into this demand zone, or mm. I want to see us break out of um, like seventeen nine three nine and break above there, and then I can look to go uh, long. Thanks, Void. Um, so that's that's kind of my plan right now. I don't, I don't want to do anything in the in the middle of this range, in the middle of in in, in Hobbs box. I do not want to be in pause. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean it's a good range. I just I don't have the patience it for it right now. It's, it's really nice. It's, I mean, like you said, Micaiah made seventeen hundred bucks in his range. Like, you oh can yeah, trade it's not a bad range at all. I just, I just want to see. I'm just being patient and seeing what the market has to offer this morning so far. Yeah, yeah. All right, there's the uh, injection of liquidity five minutes in. 
Let's see what happens here. Micaiah says, yeah, thanks, man. I have enough money in my PAs for 35K in payouts. Let's go. Just maintaining Let's and pulling every go, cycle. Bro. Let's go. Bro. Let's go. How many how many PAs you got? Uh, and um, did you, you, you scale back down to the 50Ks, right? Instead of doing the 350s? Yeah, I think he went back down to the 50Ks instead of doing the 300Ks. Yeah, or the 300. Yeah, that's I, I think that's the move, honestly. Sweat on top step to, to get with it and, and and make some of them changes. Yeah, if they if they make it so you can get multiple accounts, they're gonna shut the game down, in my opinion. Yeah, more than more than I mean you just if you with top step without the trailing drawdown, if you can get 10 on top step and get 20 on apex, like you winning. Those are the only ones you need right there. Like, yeah. You get paid every five days and every 10 days, you fire. All right, we're trying to sweep this low down here. Um, let's see if we continue straight down or do we find buyers um, after putting in that double top? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, you have uh, two, three hundred and six fifty Ks. OK, dope, days, dope. nice. Very nice. Very nice, brother. Happy for you, man. I, I know. See. <clears throat> Some people will come in here and think you're bragging, but they they weren't here in day one. They weren't here from day one. You know what I mean? Like they didn't see the blown accounts and you know what I mean? Like the frustration and stuff right there, right? Like it's a celebration in here, bro. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, I Super remember when your ass was playing 100 micros instead of playing yeah, 10 minis. Yeah, 100 <laughs> micros instead of 10 minis. <laughs> so he was like, was like what are you are doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> what kind of, of scale-up plan do you have over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's classic days hey, i blew up 12 pas in a single day <laughs> god damn yeah they don't know people don't know that struggle bro that's i mean think about that that's a hundred and uh, what 160 bucks times 12 that's like 1500 dollars. yeah you know what i mean like people don't know they don't they don't know like the, the real grind yeah they, they don't know the real grind that's why i'll never diss somebody <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh okay never mind, never mind. <laughs> i'll leave it alone. Uh, i'll leave it alone but yeah i just i just think journeys are important right everybody starts off a loser in the market period and everybody's point, point, point. journey is their own and everybody takes their own time yeah. to get to where they're going yeah like everybody don't make moves on somebody else time, man. so everybody's and, journey and is everybody's journey at the end of the day as long as you're getting payouts like that that's 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 all that matters mm -hmm. that's that's the game right it's, it. it's just to make money in the market no matter no matter how you got there if you're there you're there right and if you're not yeah. there then just keep working to get there but you know Extracting some people uh, money is the name of the game yeah i agree this is the hardest thing i've ever done you learn a lot about yourself a thousand percent all right we're double topping but we're triple bottoming and we're inside of this macro so i'm expect i'm expecting to push it open we'll see what happens i'm not long in this yet but i i i'm expecting to push it open i like where the vix is at let's see what happens yeah i'm, I'm not long in this either i'm gonna i'm definitely i definitely want to wait and see if we can't get out of this range yeah ditto <sighs> see if we can't make our way out first the market's Yo, about to open. What was that? Oh my God, gold! Oh my God, this thing's already pushing. It goes like, what y'all waiting on? Yeah, gold bouncing off that previous. Yeah, it goes like, it goes like, what range? <laughs> what range? We out of here. We did consolidate pretty heavily before we dropped uh, those. I'm curious if that that 2040ish level is gonna cause some uh, or go uh, 24 2400. That's gonna cause some pain for gold. But we'll see. It's gold. Gold doesn't care. Gold just goes up. I wrote a pre-market plan for gold. I'd I'd love That's to short it. it up at 2400 for sure. If it's gonna push up, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> bing, bing, bing. Yeah, I was like, I was up and I had just gotten up. Like my wife woke me up at like seven. I was like, dang, I slept good. So I got up and just started making plans because I, I was watching the market during London. I wasn't trading it, but I was watching it. I got up to, to use the restroom and I was like, oh, okay. I, I'd actually short right here. So I took a short and one. So I kind of knew where the market was on all four markets because I was watching all four. And 
I was like, you know what? Let me make a plan for all four of these. Well, all three of these, because Dow, I wasn't really going to trade, but you know. All right, there's the push down, that sweep. The VIX is starting to push up here. Market's open. Um, let's see what we do. I'm, I'm betting we sweep this low and then we come back up. So let's see what happens. There's a lot of selling right down there. A lot mm -hmm. of selling. Yeah, the VIX just dropped. I think we come right back up. <clears throat> Good lord. You forgot how to use Discord, Valdez? <laughs> All I keep hearing is Valdez was, Valdez was trading. He was making his money. <laughs> He's probably long on gold. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Um, you told boo. him to say what's up. Oh, oh, dang. oh dang. you had to you. You, you had to get all fresh for the camera and whatnot. Actually, look professional, yeah. like you don't trade in your pajamas. You bagged him. You bagged him. Pause. Pause. <laughs> pause. Put him in. Oh, you don't. You're not allowed to speak to me about pause this morning, Justin. No, 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 Valdez. You miss Justin. He already been pre pre market, bro. He tells. I say. He says, I, I ain't say. I said. I said nothing. Bro, pre market. He says. Last night I watched a video. I was asking him like, how was his night? You know, last night I watched a video. I did nah, not fall nah, asleep. Nah, nah, nah. Did, <laughs> I watched the said, video and then said, I, I didn't. I didn't fall asleep to Carmine. He said, but I did watch. I did watch my boy uh Trader Traders Evolve. I did fall asleep to him. He did tuck me in. Whoa. Pause, <laughs> bro. Pause, bro. Like Yeah, hey, Danny man. tuck him in last night. Diddy, hey. bro. Diddy. Yeah. Hey, like, hey man. Hey, it happens, terrorist. man. It happens. <laughs> you gotta be happens, good to man. go through the trade journey. I like both. Almost bulletproof. The week will fall away. The trade journey is definitely real. 100% custom <laughs> BBQ. Yeah, boy, boy tell him. Diddy. Diddy. You say you like that? Yeah, I, I like it for longs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got. I, I, I wrote a pre market plan low. for gold as well. So I have some levels on there if you want to go check it out. But yeah, I'm, I'm expecting gold to drop as well. Come on, sweep this. Sweep this. Oh, I want right, to see. Here comes the push, the retap of the. Yeah. It was, it's, yeah, it's, it's playing around with the 80s. I think we go up. Like, there's. I'm pretty confident we're going to go up. <laughs> like, yeah. I just, I just want to see us get above uh, 86 and maybe put in a, a nice higher high or a, a high before I even take uh, take a shot at it. Yeah, I, I really want to see us sweep the, the low and get into that four hours. Mm -hmm. Like basically do the exact same thing we did in the overnight. Basically, you see how we came down to this low of 17,792? I love to see us come near that low again. Take that out, and then I'll be looking along down there. Yeah. But yeah, here yeah. comes this drop right here. This is yeah, they caught we'll everybody. They uh -huh. caught everybody trying to get along right there. Yep. Yeah, you yeah, ain't getting me today, no sir. No sir. Slow and steady wins the race. Five. Oh, this five minute candle look ugly as hell. This five minute candle about to be straight up doji. Mm. Oh, <laughs> but <God>. said, full diddy. <laughs> full yeah. diddy. Yeah, Justin has no shame, bro. Like I'm telling you, bro. He be out here hugging the hugging the phone and stuff when he going to sleep. <laughs> say, the say, phone. That, say that trend line break <laughs> one more time. <laughs> hey, look, this is all coming I from the way you say say that trend line break. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is funny though. I, I love you, the supply I give you that. That's your demand. Funny. I love the supply your demand. <laughs> oh Lord. Again, pretty funny. Not something uh, I would say, but pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, nah, he goes he like does, he doesn't go he, he goes like twenty five he doesn't he goes for twenty five hits. He doesn't even go for points. Yeah. 
he goes for like 10 points like 10 points like 12 points yeah he, i can't do scalping. it with that guys. <laughs> yeah he does he does he 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 scalp he scalp but he scalps mainly for one to ones and then he'll but he'll he'll like there he'll be he like okay I'm at my twenty five ticks but I'm waiting to see what happens and then he'll be at like fifty ticks like ten seconds later he'll be like yeah fifty ticks let's go and then yeah he'll he'll he does hit some big moves from time to time yeah bro he be he be he 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 put on some size bro like some massive size. <laughs> oh look how they smacked the buyers up there you see that jay Woo. Mm -hmm. Woo. yeah they're not yeah, playing they got that was a 146 oh. buy lot came in up at that high right there and got rejected dang bro oh i'm chilling bro i just find that freak that's crazy how they look at this they smacking the sellers at the bottom <laughs> they smacking the sellers at the bottom yeah you got in late? Yeah, we'll buy your ass back up down here. Damn. Shout out to the scalpers out there, man. Y'all the real OGs. Yeah, y'all. The scalpers, the, the scalpers the real OGs, man. I swear. Y'all, y'all, that shit is impressive. To be able to scalp this in and out, like, y'all motherfuckers the real OGs, bro. Like, shout out to the scalpers out there. Because, yeah, 10 points. Bang, bang. I know Emmett, like, yeah. <laughs> you know that? That. 20 point candles right here. These are 20 point candles. The, the scalper is the real OGs out there, bro. I feel like that's where the real risk is at. Like that's where the that's where the your kahunas are made in the scalping world. I ain't got none. Yeah, yeah. All right, getting rejected here. Vix is trying to push to 90. Man, this market is literally moving sideways right now. Nothing. Macro didn't, didn't offer a <laughs> shit. Yeah, it looks like uh, NQ uh, yeah. wants down as well. Yeah, there's the stocks aren't doing anything right now. So, I mean, gold gave all of that back up. Damn. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it. I can see it on the 15. It's, it's a beautiful channel. Mm hmm. And here come the selling. All right, this is what I want to see happen, right? Like, this is exactly what I wanted to see this morning. I want to see us completely flush through this channel, um, completely flush back to the bottom of this range. Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> There's a previous day low tap. gonna allow the market to kind of build some structure here nothing really for me to Facts. do just yet. i'm not a scalper so i understand the logic behind scalping but i'm just not that dude yeah gold is definitely breaking this trend that's right like here. a 40 point move though real talk you, you mean uh from the top from the double top yeah yeah i see it i just <laughs> yeah. mean it's crazy when once we get down to the low if i wasn't ready to trade up there it's a scalp once we're down here so yeah i just want i just want price to come all the way down to, to uh, 775 although i i am i'm i am curious about this level though let's see if we can break we're, we're coming back up to this level really aggressively right now like really yeah, that aggressively clean like really like. aggressively <laughs> yeah, yeah we're coming up here super aggressive so i'm curious to see whether we can break above that yeah, was did it reverse oh yeah <laughs> yeah that's that was that previous day low tap i was waiting on down there now I just want to see the result. I want to see the result of this of this breakout here. Yeah, I'm 100% bullish down here. There's no, no Nah, this is I'm bearish. 
There's no way I'm shorting this market down here. I'm not hmm. going to take the short, but I would, I'm definitely bearish down here. This is the third tap of this area. You're bearish down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bearish hmm. for us to come down to come down a little bit lower. But I don't know, we could hold right here. We came back up super, super aggressively, though. I will say that. Nah, this is, I think this is bullish, 100%. We'll see, though. Only the market can tell. Only the market shows fight for his fires. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if we break this. It's technically an inverse head and shoulders on the one minute here. It's yeah, five seven. I, I do see that. I do see that. That that does look. It does look good. If we can break the, uh, if we can break this high here at uh, eight eight two. Yeah, I just want to see a high broken before I take it. I'm. I'm more bullish than I am bearish, but I'm I'm still gonna wait on structure, and we we just haven't taken a high yet. So once I see a high taken, and then we come back down and retest, I'll be ready to trade. I just want to see the high taken first. But I'm definitely bullish. The the VIX is starting to cool off down up here too. <clears throat> I just see no reason for the market to come down further. Like without filling those gaps, I just it just would be weird if we continue to sell. But I mean, Mark can do whatever fuck it wants to do. But I'm more so bullish than bearish. But I still need to wait for some type of structure to break. Uh, uh. <clears throat> yeah, this, is, this is getting interesting. So this is trying to come up in a little hour. What the fuck did I just do? Bro, I just did some shit that I didn't even know I could do. Yeah, these stocks are like a mixed bag. And I just, I think I just took a screenshot on accident. I was trying to clean my mouse off. I don't know how the heck I just did that. <laughs> you ever did some stuff on your computer and look up and be like, how did I do that? <laughs> I have no idea what that was. All right, these bulls are trying to hold this inverse head and shoulders right here, right? Like this is the, this is the shoulder, but I don't know. Like, you see that right there? We keep tapping into this level, but we we haven't taken out this high right here. So I'm looking at this as still trickery territory, right? So until we take out a high, like this looks like an inverse head and shoulders, but every time we come up to the high, we get destroyed. So take out the high, and then I'm interested. That way I know the market's shifted in character. Right now, the market's uh yeah, the market's taking souls right now. So I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna Matt sacrifice my soul. Souls right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sacrifice my soul in this area right here. I'll save my tokens. I'm good. <laughs> here it goes. Soul taker. <laughs> soul snatcher. Oh, you wanna go low? Yeah. You wanna go low right here? Oh, okay. Yep, I've been in that, I've been in that category before. Like, no, I'm yeah, still the market's good, holding this. The market's holding this low, though. This market holding this low, heavy. Yeah, but I think we there it goes. It one more time. Yeah, there it goes. Mm. Something has to be taken, bro. And that, oh, no, that low is that low is prime to be taken right now. It is in danger, danger, stranger danger, <laughs> stranger danger. <laughs> that low is like, take me out to the ball game. Uh, <laughs> that low is primed right now, bro. I'm not touching it. <clears throat> not not to the upside. Justin's bearish, so he, he. I mean, I think a short would be ideal to expect him to sweep yeah. low. Yeah. Mm. I missed my short. If I wanted to get short, yeah, we would have had to get short at seventy five. Yes. Yeah, so, yep same area i think we're coming i think we're coming down though mm. Ooh, that's a defense of that low though that's another defense of the low well that's the, the higher low being put in right there but with no high so 
until you put that high end i ain't buying it <clears throat> i just i just do not believe that they want to go lower like i just <clears throat> can they yeah i mean the, the market looks extremely bearish <laughs> google is freaking blushing but i don't think they care i think they want to send this thing just the buying today just looks way more aggressive than it did yesterday <laughs> Coming right back into that fifty percent soul snatcher. <laughs> it's like it's something about fifty percent that not only the market likes, but as a human, it's like you don't want to buy until price gets right to that fifty percent, and you buy right there. You're like, yeah, this is going. This is going to keep going, and you buy right at the previous fifty percent expecting a push out and the market knows that and it's just like give me that <laughs> dang oof. oof the market the market just <laughs> so snatching bro that's what it feels like it's like it gives you this this false sense of security <laughs> you're like hey it's all good brother we're going up from here don't sweat it <laughs> the market's like got him your soul is mine what is that uh mortal Kombat? uh nah yeah, that is Mortal Kombat. It's like your mm -hmm. soul is mine. Um, Shang Song or whatever his name is, the, the last boss with all the arms. Oh, all right. Do we get our test of this area? I would Shang love to see Shang Song, Shang whatever his name is. I don't know. All right, very nice sell off here coming down further, further and further and further. The VIX is pushing back up to 96 now, 97. Let's see if this is a true still off. I, I'm still betting on the bulls here. Um, Justin's betting on the bears. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'm bullish until we come. break. I'm bullish until we break cleanly 91. Right. And I think we can get that tap into 775. It's what I really want. We get that. I'll be very, very pleased to take that trade. Yeah. I just thought we were going to come lower. Mm, yeah i just i think that the range is still intact as long as we're above 91 but we could sweep that low and then tap 75 but the way the vix is looking pfft, this is not going to be just a sweep this looks like they might come for the whole cookie we don't want to taste we want the whole damn thing <laughs> he boy said i laughed so hard i closed my long I'm just saying, bro, it's the truth. Like, if you're longing this market right now, like, the market is snatching your soul. Like, every time you get to 50% of the previous, just all you got to do, if you want to get long or if you want to get short or long, is just look for these little drop base drops, right? Like, this is basically just your 50%, your typical 50%. This is what we do in the market review all the time in the Discord, right? Like, if you, if you really want to get long, just watch. Just do nothing else but just watch. See what price does every time we tap into the previous high and the previous low at 50%. Before you get long, just watch. And I guarantee where you would want to get long, the market's going to be like sweep, 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 dump. Sweep, 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 dump. Right? We call that the point of origin or the 50%, you know, of the previous high and low. If you just follow price without pressing the buy and sell button, you'll be shocked to learn that without the emotion the market is literally doing it every doing the same thing every single time you're just your emotions are just making you see something different that's it but we're coming into this next macro at uh 950. Let's see what we do we're trading down into it i want to see an aggressive sweep candle come down and tap into my uh my level and i'm going to be ready to trade because i'm getting everything i really want except for the fix pushing to 18. That's Actually, that's it. That is exactly what I wanted, honestly. That's what I mean. Like, I'm I'm 100 percent bullish. There's no way I'm I'm shorting this market. No effing way. Not down here. It'll be time to go. Yeah, no, I'm not. It ain't time to go till we get above a high. Till we get above a high, I'm not touching this thing. For me, anyway. Oh, nice long wick, huh? All right, long. You like wicks, you sir. like you like nice long wicks, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
You like really nice, nice long, long wicks, wick, eh? do you? <laughs> Mm, mm, they call him Wiki, <laughs> Wiki James. <laughs> that man boy said he laughed so hard he closed his lung, which means he was getting, he was in the process of getting his he was in the process of getting his soul snatched. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> He's like, Hobbs is right. Yeah, I know I'm right. I've been there. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> I'm speaking from a place of pain. Of pain. All right, now we're taking out a high. There we go. All right. Let's see us take out seven six. We did take out eight six three, so we swept the high. Let's see if we sweep the low now. Remember this: if you're taking this trade, is most likely the scalp, meaning it's not going to take you all the way to the next, you know, level that you want to go to. It'll be a really nice scalp because it's in queue, but just understand that this most likely is the scalp, and the market will sweep this low, usually. So. You want to wait for that sweep that takes your breath away. You can take this trade, but you got to understand that if it doesn't get above the high, you could potentially get uh, cooked by this trade, right? Like you want to let this thing go, take your quick, you know, 50 points and get the fuck out, you know? Just just food for thought. Like it's, it's, it's not a given. You shouldn't take what I'm saying as financial advice, but you should take it as a, as a person speaking from a place of experience through pain. Lots of pain. <laughs> pain. pain. <laughs> lots and lots of pain. <laughs> All right. Ooh. There you go. Now we're closing above that high of seven, seven, six is what we want to see. We want to see the bulls push above this area and hold it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. To me, the job of the scalp's not complete until we can close above seven six. I do appreciate the 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 little intraday high getting taken, but I would feel more comfortable if this high got taken. That's what I really want to see. All right, we're consolidating at this high. We're still finding buyers up here, but the VIX is still not slowing down. So it's at 18.01 right now. Um, so the chances of us pulling back um, are increasing, but the bulls are definitely trying to hold value up here. All right, there goes the VIX dropping five points right there. So maybe we push out at this high. Boom, 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 boom. I like this beat, man. This beat fire. It is fire. Consolidating at the high after breaking a, a previous high is very, very normal. So if you're in your long trade and you believe that it's going to break the high, then hold, right? But if you believe that this is just a scalp so the market can, you know, yeah. Very good, very good, very good. See, this is not failure that I want to see. Like, if I'm if I'm looking along this, I want to see us get above seven six. But us not getting above seven six doesn't make me feel good. The only thing that'll make me feel good now is after we broke this high, is a sweep of this low into this demand zone where I know buyers are sitting. Right, that'll make me feel good. I'm looking to short this. I'm just waiting for confirmation. I already have confirmation. I just want to see a little bit of selling. I'm looking Word. to short this, this move down though. I I, okay. I think this is about to fail. 
Potentially. I think it is too. That's exactly what I said. I said, I think this is, this is a scalp. I think we come down and sweep the low. So, yeah, I think it's going to fail too. I just wanted to see it get above 7.6 so it could have at least done its job up there. <clears throat> All right, VIX is down 10 points from 18 at these highs. That's a good sign for the bulls. Um, gold is pushing, breaking trend. So good job on that that gold short, uh, Valdez. Very clean. Looks like it's about to come down, down. Um, still waiting to see what NQ wants to do. Uh, he said, I'm never coming back to NQ. Yeah, yeah, because... All this time we wait on NQ to move, gold is down 10 points from the high. Well, it looks like we might push out of here. We'll see. Yeah. I told you, the, the, the objective is to, oh my God. <laughs> the objective is to take this high if you're a bull. So that's why, like, for me, I think the shorts could come in, but after yeah. we take the high. All right. No, we're moving up. I was, I was waiting to see because we were consolidating on the tape. I was waiting to see whether this was going to fail, but it looks like bulls are going to push us up. So no trade for me. No trade for me. We got above that high. I was looking for that high to fail, but it didn't work. So. You basically just flagged right there. I was I was hoping that flag was gonna fail, but it didn't. And uh gold is pushing straight down. There goes the VIX dropping to 78 now. Again, everything I wanted to see, I'm getting out of NQ. We're breaking above that 80, that 76 level, closing nicely with the continuation. Again, I still view this as the scalp up out of this area. So if you want to take this trade, I think the long was down here at the lows like we were talking about, right? And it looks really good to the upside. So yeah, it does look and good. gold is straight uh, flushing right now. Good job on the on the shorts on gold. All right, the objective has been met here. Oh, yeah, 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 I just want to pull back, that's all. I think we come back and sweep that low. Mm -hmm. I think we come all the way back down. But we did build a lot of value in here. I took a quick scalp on uh, on uh, ES down there at those lows. Um, locking in about 200 bucks on one mini here. Um, right when we get to the high, I'm going to be out just to get the day warmed up. I like and, it. I like it. Oh, don't come all the way back on me, baby. Go up there. Take the high. Yeah, ES was just, uh, it wasn't moving as aggressively as NQ. So I was like, you know what? I like, I like what I'm seeing out of ES. I'll take the, the long on ES and just kind of hold it here. All right, ES is pulling back here. I'm going to go ahead and take the profit right there. Start the day off clean with a couple hundred bucks. I'll take that. Take that, take that, take that. And if ES is pulling back, then I definitely anticipate NQ pulling back here. After tapping into that low, but breaking the high. There we go. <clears throat> all right very nice clean 
uh pushed up on nq um for e for nq now what i just want is a pullback and es is already starting to pull back pretty aggressively so i'm anticipating a pullback and a sweep of this low and then it's going to be go time we're aggressively sweeping we're aggressively selling off here right at the top of this uh macro i think if you're going to short this is probably where you want to get short Yeah, ES is cooking to the downside. Cooking. <clears throat> ES is so good at selling off. God, it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, food for thought as we took important lows and we in daily range. Aren't we expecting ranging all day? No. I never expect something to happen all day. I think that's the... I think that's one thing you can't predict, right? Like you, you never know what the market's going to do, right? Like the market can do whatever it wants to do. I do expect range after a, uh, the take of a low or high, how long that range is going to be. That's up to the market, right? But we're not ranging right now. We're about to break out of this range. Uh, took a long in US 30, let it ride in scalping queue. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, we'll see how long this... Uh see how how far this pullback ends up ends up going looks like we want to hold this area mm -mm 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 -mm. personally though I don't want to see the market fail here. I want to see us get above the previous high. Because if not, like Hobbs said, we we'll probably will just end up running the low. Yeah, just following structure. I think I think it makes sense for us to sweep that low one more time. But if we don't, that's fine. We'll come back down here. We 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 that 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 freaking five minute candle down there is, is pretty freaking convincing that we might not go, come back yeah it's fine <clears throat> but I think the market might have one more pullback in it still some more souls before we actually take off it's done its job it's done everything I've asked it to do so I appreciate you market I appreciate you not being a, a D-I-C-K. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. In the hood. All right, here comes that pullback. Come on. Come on down. Either we're sweeping this low or I'm looking for taps into 848. That's what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. There's the shorts. Come to big dogs. Yikes. As expected. Very nice push down. But the market did his job. The market, the bulls did their job. So now it's up for it's up to the, the guy down there to defend his position. So remember we had all of this consolidation at 871. Right? So this guy may get the bounce here off settlement right we may not come all the way back down but i want us to i want us to tap either 848 or sweep or sweep that low i don't really know which one the market wants to do yet yeah all that aggressive buying that came out of uh that consolidation mm -hmm. i definitely want to see them defend this area yeah, we're still like we're, we're still in the overall range too. Like we haven't gotten above nine forty. So until we get above that, we're still range bound. Like uh, Void is saying. So, but <clears throat> we could just sit here until Polly Powell decides he wants to speak. But I don't know. I took me a quick scalp on ES. Made a, made a couple hundred bucks. Now I'm just kind of chilling. 
just kind of chilling get the get the fomo itch out be that beast all right we're tapping back into roughly settlement but let's see if we can actually come back up or we come in coming down i would prefer us to drop down first before we actually take off but who cares what i want vix is getting aggressive again gold is playing games with people food it, it looks like it wants to short then it comes right back up mm. just ranging just ranging just ranging just ranging <laughs> yeah i i think i think profit at settlement would have been fire that's where you wanted to take those profits at uh looks like we have a bit of a bit of a falling wedge here on the uh, on nq with yeah yep nice little pull back here yeah i'm looking I to see what we more. do once we get back into that consolidation range yeah that 71 area i think we yeah. sweep it all I think we sweep it all and come back to 84. That's what I'm, I mean, not 84, uh, 48. I'm starting to be like you. <laughs> That's what I want. I want, I want 48 to be tapped. Yeah. I want to see what we do between 76 and, uh, 60. Yeah. That consolidation. I like that area too, but I think we sweep that area and come back to the 50%, but we'll see. Vix is back to 18, so whatever whatever is happening, the Bears are winning right now. Yeah. Well, the only thing about the 50% is that we we didn't take we didn't take that high. That's the problem. We did take the high. We didn't uh the five minute range, we didn't. The high to low of the five minute range, at least at, the, at least the way the I was looking minute. at it. Look I mean, the yeah. Minute. The the I mean, yeah, the one minute. I mean, even the one minute from the Oh, well, yeah, the one minute we would have taken. The high is at 876 in the one minute. That's the last high that brought the last low. If you look down at the one minute, the high was at 76. We oh, definitely took the high. <laughs> we definitely took the high. <clears throat> we're about to we're about to take off. Maybe. We just tapped back that liquidity and found a ton of buyers. watching both uh nq and es here i like i like es is set up a little bit better it's a little bit slower nq tapped into that that damn that damn liquidity and ripped 30 points i'm like damn well that was that entry <laughs> that was that entry let's see if we give it back up but es is just consolidating down here which i like so i'm more inclined to take es long here than nq because ES provides uh, much more um, stability for the trade for my entry. Yeah, I'm long ES here, 5101. NQ's just too it's too it, it's too volatile down there. It, it the entry that I want it, I can get that same entry on ES and just hold it and risk a lot less.
Looks like we might fail here, though. I'm out there for break even. Maybe we get one more sweep of these lows, which I'm okay with. Woo. Jesus. Demon time, baby. Demon time. <laughs> yeah, I just I just think we're I just think we're we're literally like just stealing liquidity right here. So like I'm just trying to be cautious with my entries and cautious with what I want to give back or take. So I feel like we're about to push out of here definitely. It's just we gotta play all of these games before we leave. It is what it is. <laughs> They, everything's playing games right now like everything's just searching for liquidity searching searching for market participants yeah and keep us putting a uh, head and shoulders we'll see if we can come back up yes is dancing inq is dancing gold is dancing everything's just dancing right now <clears throat> mm. Mm, just be long. <laughs> Bro, I'm watching. I'm watching a 15 second on NQ. It, it it even looks choppy on the 15 second. Like it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Bro, I'm watching the five second on MQ. <laughs> this thing is not going anywhere, bro. <laughs> like this thing is playing games right now. But the VIX is selling down here. I, I'm still bullish down here. Like I just do not believe the market is going to sell off down here. Like I think we might pull back and and then sweep the low one more time. But I don't. I don't think the market is going to go bearish down here. But hey, stranger things have happened. Just look for double topping again. Again, the, the sweep from the Bears, man. Mm -mm. Not enough participants, bro. Nah, looks like we're coming up. Yeah, we just built structure on that 15 second. We just held value right there. Like a motherfucker. We need to break this high. There it goes. Take the liquidity at 10. There it goes. It just snap the liquidity at 10, and now we're breaking above it. Nope, we're coming back down. <laughs> just to say, nope, we're coming back down. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna let, it's not just gonna go until it's still enough souls. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like Sonic, bro. It's like, it's like freaking Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I swear to you know how Sonic you know how Sonic good. Oh, I'm not sure in this. Are you in positions? Yeah, I took a long on uh ES and a long on NQ inside of that consolidation. So I'm long I'm long um I'm long on the breakout at 94 or 904.75 on NQ, and I'm long at 5104 on the breakout on ES. 
50, 5104 50. And you guys can see those entries right here. Those are my two entries right there. So yeah, I'm long. I just don't, I just don't like like sharing my entries all the time because I mean it's my entry, right? Like, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely long. I've been bullish this whole fucking time down here, so I'm definitely gonna stay long. I'm not gonna lose money on this trade either. So I'm gonna lock in 10 points right there. And then on ES, I'm gonna lock in two points right there. All right, now I'm chilling. Let it do what it's gonna do. Do your worst, market. I'm, I'm flat. I haven't taken any trades yet. I was bearish at the bottom, which was fine. Didn't find an entry. I did get bullish, but that sweep was just so fast. It happened so quick on X. Yeah, if you talk about the tap back into the consolidation, yeah, I was like, I couldn't, I okay. couldn't even react. By the time I looked up, it was already gone. I was like, yeah, all right, I'm yeah. not chasing that. Exactly what I said. I was like, yo, how the fuck do you even participate in that? Like, what do you do with that? Like, that, you, that you was like, you had to have a limit order right there only. <clears throat> But now I'm, I'm looking for us to tap back into uh, 870 potentially. But that's that's a that's a ways down. I don't know if we're gonna actually come back all the way down there. Bro, it looked like we might fuck around and sweep this whole area and just take me out again, bro. Like I'm so sick of NQ. This drives me fucking nuts, bro. <laughs> this thing be on like demon time. Look at this. Th look at this candle, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Like, why? Why is that candle necessary? Why? That's the shit I be talking about. Like, why is it necessary to sweep for fucking 30 goddamn points, bro? <laughs> like, uh, all my profits go. Locked in 10 points. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Never, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Come on, dude. All right, all right. Range rules are back in effect, guys. We're still in the range. That was the that was the confirmation that short the high, long the lows. Like the fifty percent don't matter. That's basically where we are right now. <clears throat> We're in a range. Where the that was the top of the range right there. I was expecting us to break out of this range, right? I'll just show you guys here. If we zoom out and look at the five, we're still in this range, right? Like this is still my range from this morning, right? And I was anticipating us breaking out of the range. That's why I took the long. I wasn't anticipating a 30 point drop, but that's why I locked in the 10 points. Cause I'm like, let me lock in some profit. Cause NQ, you know, inside of a range, this thing can do whatever it wants to do. So I did lock in a hundred dollars on ES and 200 on NQ. So up another 300 so i'm not i'm not losing money it's just annoying it's annoying that it just won't push out so yep yeah es did the same thing though in 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 defense of nq es did the exact same thing it literally dropped that he said yeah they just they're just trying to steal liquidity right like so only thing you can really do is scalp so the next time I'm up 20 points, I'm just going to take it. Because <clears throat> I was up like 30 points on that trade and Q came all the way back down. So when I'm up 20 points inside of this range, I'm just going to take it. It's expected after that Dort big money got a hedge and build thick positions. Yep. Chop suey. <laughs> NQ be like, got him. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's always better to be plus 300 than zero profit and mad that you didn't trust your guts. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it depends on what type of trader you want to be, right? Like if I was trading, if I wanted to get this the way I wanted to get it, I would have been out of the trade already. I wanted to long it down here that I just, I wanted one more sweep of this area because this was not a break of a high for me yet, right? But honestly, looking back on it, the double top broke the high, right? In the pre-market. So this pullback was actually the 50% retest right here. Right. That's something I got to work on, like paying attention to that, because I was waiting on one more sweep. But this was the sweep. Right. It already happened. Right. So they took my liquidity, got me out for 10 points and then looking like they want to rally this thing back up. But I'm not going to touch it until we come out of this box at this point. Either we come out of this box or we come back down to the low of the rings. That's what I want.
Mm. All right. In the meantime, between time, I'm going to go get some food. I'm hungry. I'll be right back. short on this shit justin justin oh is he on the phone or something Sorry, I was on the phone. No, I didn't. I didn't get short. Mm -mm. Yeah, we rejected that pre-market high, so that double top high. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this range at this point. This range is big enough. It is big enough. Yeah. We're gonna stay range bound all day. Screw it. I'm almost back down to that consolidation. <laughs> Good lord. Well, it just got smaller. The range pretty much got smaller with that that higher low we just put in. So the low looks like it's about at 822. Let's see what we do. Discord fam, if y'all watching this and y'all trying to trade this, draw a chess board and figure out where the highs and lows, because that's what we're in. We're in consolidation right now, massive consolidation, and it's about a 120 point range. So don't get caught trading the middle or longing the highs like I did, right? You want to look to play the extremes of the range. And right now, the low is 823 and the high is where we just came to 931. So we're in about a 100 point range right now. So if you don't feel comfortable trading the range, don't trade it. But right now, you shouldn't be looking for like those 50% taps. You need to be attacking the extremes, right? That's where we are right now. So go ahead, brother. Yeah, it's a sweep of pre market high. That's all we did. Yeah, well, as far as what's happened, we haven't made a new high and we haven't made a new low. So the current position of price is a range, right? Is it is it gonna go lower? Could be, but none of us really know, right? Only thing we know is what what we can see in front of us. And thus far, only thing we can truly say is that the market's in a range, right? So trade accordingly right with your targets that's all i would say if you're you feel me like if, if you're anticipating a big move in this range then you could be right but the market hasn't proven that it can do that yet the only thing that is proven is that it can it's it's remaining range bound so just be aware because this is where most accounts go to die right here Especially after five, after a five hundred point drop yesterday, right? Uh, Scott, I don't need to watch a playlist again. 
I never said we were bearish or bullish. What I said was we were range bound. If you wanna go watch the playlist, you're more than welcome to do so. Dave doesn't run my life, I run my life. So if you wanna go watch his playlist, go for it. <laughs> we're clearly bullish. Nah, he said, bro, you need to go watch the playlist again. We're still bullish. I literally have been saying this entire time that I was bullish down here this entire time. So maybe you should go rewind the, the live, the live. <laughs> like I've literally have not said that I was bearish. What I said was I'm very bullish down here, but I understand that we're in a range. And before Ma Dave made a playlist, I knew how to trade, right? What Dave brought was market structure to my life and I will forever be grateful to that. However, Dave doesn't run my life. Mm, that was sweet. Uh, yesterday after you ended the stream, the market was so crazy. Yeah, it was. It was really nice. We called out that trade um, in the Discord prior to it happening. I, I went for a walk and I was like, I'm looking for pullbacks in the 125 to go short. We pulled back into 125 and that thing dumped for 200 points. But I was on a walk, so it's all good. On the daily, we were bearish. We broke and closed below the daily change of character. Exactly. I understand where we are from a macro perspective, but where we are right now, I'm very bullish in this area. But the market hasn't proven that it can push out of here. Um, and Scott says he's already took 50 points out of the market done for the day. Congratulations, brother. It's not a competition, though. That's what you guys... That's what a lot of Dave mentees fail to realize is like the market's not a competition. Like it's not, you're, you're not out here to brag every three seconds. That's not, that's not what the market's about. If you want to make it about a competition, then go for it, bro. Like go play, go play somewhere else. Like this ain't, the, this ain't the place for you, right? Like I'm not about competition. What I'm about is about learning and being respectful. And what I think Dave has failed to realize is that respect is something that he's forgotten to give and give to a lot of people. And a lot of the mentees underneath him repeat that toxic mentality. It's just not something that I'm willing to condone anymore. Like that's just not, I'm not for that. I appreciate the education, but the toxicity and the, like if anybody else was acting like Dave, y'all would call that shit out. Like, let's keep it a buck, right? Like if anybody else was acting like him, calling, telling people that they have poverty mindsets and shit, y'all would not let that shit ride. So why y'all letting that shit ride? Like that shit ain't cool. So if you took 50 points out of the market, you made five points, 10 points, 20 points. I'm happy for you, but I'm not competing with you. But I'm going to call a spade a spade. And that motherfucker needs some act right. So next mofo come in here telling me I need to watch a playlist. I'm telling you, today's the day. F around and find out. Hmm. Day teaches FX. Go look him up. Really good information, education. But all of that extra shit he do on Twitter and all of that going back and forth and dissing people journey like his journey didn't start in the mud. I think that I think that's not cool. Right. Hey, no problem, Scott. No problem, man. I ain't got no beef with him. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Like the one thing you hey, good trade. Good trade. Brother. Good, I respect that ditty party. Is y'all crazy? Good luck to you today. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good one, but just remember you're trading, you're trading in the middle of that range. So just be careful right there. We could get that bounce at that consolidation to the left. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, you earn respect at Diddy parties. Y'all stupid. <laughs> hey, happy with real life. Yeah, I mean, I'm very, I'm very comfortable in my real life. I just saw. I didn't even see it, but but some people told me about like he's coming for somebody else. Like he's now he's coming for Nutty because Nutty announced on his stream that he 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 went through 600 accounts, which is crazy. Like I ain't gonna sit here and lie and act like that's not crazy. But the idea that you can diss Nutty for going through 600 accounts, but then also tell a story that you were down to your last, like you blew twenty thousand dollars gambling and you were about to get evicted in real life so trading had to work for you like the idea that you could be so contradicting is just blasphemy to me like i just don't understand like how people could listen to that and be like yeah dave it's like, man get the fuck out of here with that bro like i'm 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 telling y'all i'm not the one i've been extremely nice i've been extremely gentleman like but don't make me put the other hat on right please don't i'm begging y'all y'all don't want to see that and i don't want to show it 
but don't tempt me. It would be a mistake. Yeah, Ali 1000 says, you said something like NQ might test 17,900, what it looks like. I took th that to heart, took that to my heart and got 100 <laughs> points because of big TH. <laughs> yeah, that's the top of the range, sir. Good, good trade, man. Like I said, <laughs> my wife said, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> she know, man. I, I'm telling y'all, y'all better check the tape. I'll go nuclear in it. I'll have his, I'll have his shop on fire. I'll send the links out, bro. I don't, I don't hold my tongue for anybody, right? Anybody. I need you to hear me very clearly. I don't hold my tongue for anybody, but I understand that Justin and I are trying to grow a business. I actually appreciate what Dave brings, but I do not condone his behavior. I think it's childish. I think it's immature. I think it's negative. I think it's toxic. And I think that he's breeding an entire group of people that act the same way. And then they bring that shit in here. And I'm telling you, it's a mistake. I'm telling you, you walking across the right threshold. <laughs> Smoke season. <laughs> Please. Please. Good day, guys. Just got home from work in Cape Town, San Antonio. And this is one of my favorite things when I get home besides seeing my family. Oh, man. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. CJ with the T says, he ain't going to say how he lost them 20 accounts, though. Nobody just says, I'm giving up 20 accounts of equity. <laughs> I know. It's like, bro, and it's okay. Like, that's the thing. Like, like it's okay if you lost the accounts. I'm not even tripping. But to sit here and diss somebody else's journey, like your journey didn't start in the mud, like the absolute mud. One thing you can say about Nutty is he, he may have blown 600 accounts. But you know what he never did? He never put his family at jeopardy. They were never at jeopardy of being evicted. They were never at jeopardy of being in any type of account struggle, right? None. Because you know why? That would be irresponsible. And what Dave Journey told me, he was being irresponsible. And that's okay too. Learn from it. Build from it. But don't diss it when you do become profitable. Don't go back and diss somebody else. That's not cool, man. Right? It's not cool. And I don't like that shit. I don't like bullies. I really don't. I punch bullies in the mouth, right? Like, I don't like bullies. I don't like it. <clears throat> but I do. I don't agree with what he did. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with a lot of stuff he does. I don't agree that he, like, again, it's a lot of stuff I keep my mouth closed about, right? I, I keep my mouth closed about a lot of stuff, right? Like, a lot of stuff. I try to chill. But it's certain things that just, I don't know, they tilt me. And when I get tilted, it's hard to bring me back. It's hard to bring me back. So I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna relax. Are you messed up? Part are is you really relaxing right now. <laughs> Calm, Justin. I'm just. You know, I got a lot to say. I'm trying to be chill. I'm trying to be chill. <laughs> Y'all can egg them on. Y'all can keep them going. I'm just staying quiet. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you keep talking. I'm. I'm. Uh... <laughs> uh, CJ with the cheese says. All right, now we're at the low of this range, guys. Again, previous day low is basically acting like the low of this range. So. Every time we come down to the lows, the market's going to fight to push back up okay. to the top, right? That's what the market's going to do as long as we're in this range, right? And 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 you just need to understand that. So trading in the middle of this range is going to get you smoked. Trading long at the top of this range, it's a gamble. Trading short at the low of the range, it's a gamble. As long as you understand where we are in price, you can participate in this range. You just got to understand how to trade it. I know that my greed cooks me inside of this range. I'm getting better at it, right? I took profit today, okay? I did, right? I'm getting better at it, but until I'm comfortable with it, I would much rather just allow this range to play itself out or just stay out of it, right? Um, Messed up part is he has good info. He could have just let the info speak for itself. Exactly. But I think he chose, he chose that route for one of, maybe one of two reasons, right? One reason could be, Drama sells in this industry, right? Toxicity sells. It does. Ask Patrick, right? Or two, he's just insecure about who he is as a person, right? There, there could be, I don't know what it is. All I know is certain certain things are unnecessary. It's like the it's like the pot calling the kettle black, right? When when you have a history of not doing so well in the beginning, too, but you fixed it, you still can't just act like it never happened and diss somebody else. Oh, yeah. Imagine blowing 600 accounts. It's like, bro, seriously? Did you, wasn't your family about to get evicted? 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, like you peasants, you got you got poverty mindsets. Like, I'm sorry, wait, what? Like, I do got him on tape telling his whole story to us, right? Like that did happen, right? <laughs> Come on, man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> there, man. Eat. Yeah. Watch these lows down here, guys. This is the low of the range. Another higher low being put in. Remember, if we zoom out, right, and we look at where we're coming from, this is the low of the range right here. So we put in a high, came back, switched character, and then put in a higher low. Then we took that high, right, at 17,919. Now we're coming back down to put potentially another higher low in, right? If we take out this low, the market doesn't turn bearish inside of this range until we take out this low but this current narrative is bearish right bullish to bearish bullish to bearish that's what a higher low and lower highs are right like that's what they are so you need to just understand that inside of the range we could just flip a bunch of different times the vix is however supporting this move to the downside which could bring more downside pressure the fact that the bulls haven't been able to come out of this range doesn't bode well on a higher time frame if you just look at the four hour if you look at the four hour right now you'll see that what we're what it looks like we're building is supply because this was the original high at 937 we tried to push to 917 then we swept 917 up to 933 if we fail to get above this high at 937 the next objective of price on a higher time frame is to take out 792 so that's what the market is going to try to do inside of this range if you're a bear. I'm still bullish down here, but it looks like we're building value to go lower, not higher, like Justin was saying this morning. And I'm just looking at the VIX to kind of guide me in the strength of this consolidation. And the strength right now is bearish. So, Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking to touch this market. Not until we get into some type of demand for me. Yeah. I just... I don't know. I, I would have got cooked trying to long and short it. I just yep. Just better to stay out. Let the market kind of hash itself <laughs> out. You know, you know, this is this is you, you this is more and more looking like uh the the J. Cole uh not the J. Cole, but the, the Drake and, and Kendrick beef. Don't 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 <laughs> don't make this the Drake and Kendrick beef, please. What, please. what happened with Drake and Kendrick? I don't even know. What do you mean? Drake or Kendrick drop like that, and then now uh, oh, did Drake Kendrick drop, drop a push up? Oh. No, no, he dropped one diss track. Well, a oh. diss track on another track, whatever. And then Drake Drake's response is kind of fire. I, ain't gonna lie. I, I like mm. his response. But. Well, the thing is, is like I'm not even dissing Drake. I know. I'm just calling us. I'm just calling a spade a spade. You feel me? Like I'm. I, I'm I, saying I like I. I'm just saying, like, exactly. That's all I'm saying is just stop being weird, bro. Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, the... yeah, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, but, you know, he, you know, he he going to be in here. He going to, I I already know. One of his little minions is probably watching whatever I, right now. It, 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 he going to get be on clear. Twitter talking his shit. Look, be, be, let, let me, let me be, let me be clear. Whatever Dave has to say to me, he has my number. He's not Because be I got him muted on Twitter. He's not but he has my number. It. Right, like so, I, I I don't have I don't play games on Twitter, but I do have my own platform. The only difference between me and him, though, is he got his own platform and he talks shit about me indirectly. I can say your name, right? When you start talking about Bubble Boys and all this other shit, I know who the fuck you talking about. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm not dumb. I can read between the lines. You don't know anybody who you uses order flow, but me and Justin. So when you say stuff like, "Oh, this guy," I had to kick two members out of my Discord and I left respectfully, right? He removed Justin, but I I left. He removed Justin because yeah. I left, I guess. Right. Yep, so when you exactly say stuff why. like that, don't think I don't know what the fuck you talk about. But the only difference between me and him is I will say your name. Right. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit, and I'll send you a link to the chat, and we can talk about it live. Right. Or you can just call me. 
right? Because I'm me, I'm T Hobbs when I turn this mic and this camera on, and I'm T Hobbs when I leave this motherfucker. And the only difference between me and you is I don't need this shit. I don't need it. I prefer it. I don't need it. Right? So if it's smoke that you want, if you listening, if you watching this, I prefer you just call me and we can talk about it. But he, he won't. Like you said, he'll go on Twitter and start doing some other stuff. But like I said, man, I'm trying to stay humble. I'm trying to trying to stay gentleman like, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell y'all the story. I don't care. He it li listen, listen, listen. Instead of <laughs> in, in, instead of instead of DMing, so so here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? No, yeah, well, was I, I definitely yeah, wasn't about to do the, the homework. Boot. I have Nobody way too much homework. stuff going on to, than to do than to do homework <laughs> for you. You, I don't get a, I don't get a grade from you. Now let me let me tell you what happened. So so basically, I would Facts, like. DJ. It, it's it's hard to show up to the live streams when we're also live streaming at the same damn time, right? <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not gonna do both. <laughs> he so, basically wants us to cancel our show to go to his live stream. I was so, like, bro, like I can't do that. <laughs> what what I would do is I would watch the live streams after the fact. Sometimes I wouldn't catch all of them, but I'd watch some of them, right? And then yeah. he would want participation of like screenshots showing you like back tests and trading stuff, which also like I'm not gonna do. Like like what like your your playlist is free. So what are you teaching in the mentorship if everything is already out there for free, right? What are you doing? You're not doing anything extra, but giving people extra stuff. What about paying? But 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 then but then also on top of on top of that on top of that, right? You put out your reviews on YouTube for free as well. So what are people really paying for other than direct access to you to be able to ask you questions, right? That's what people are paying for. The people are paying for direct access to you. But then yeah. when they ask you a question, your answer is go watch, go watch the, playlist. the playlist. It's free. <laughs> so what am I really paying you for at the end of the day? If everything is free, what am I giving you money for? But hey, it's cool. It's cool, right? Because it's fine. But uh, but 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 then on top of that, the crazy marketing gimmick, and, and Dave, you're a genius for this, is you don't need the mentorship because everything's out for free in the free playlist. But come join my mentorship. Wait, hold up. But everything is free that you don't ask, that you don't answer. I thought I was the only one that was mad, huh? I thought I was the only one that had. I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. So anyway, to make a long story short, he, no, yeah. no, 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 no. To, 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 to make a long story short, to, to make a long story short, he DMs Hobbs and is like, hey, what's up with your boy? Why why isn't he doing nothing? Instead of just coming to me as a man and being a like, bro, up, look, look, bro, I know you're in the mentorship. You might you might have stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on? You know, what can I help? Whatever, whatever. Instead, he goes to Hobbs like, yo, get your boy up. Hobbs comes to me and like, yo, Dave sent me this. I'm like, man, fuck this dude. Like, don't, don't come, come, come to me. Like, don't come to my boy. Like, come to me if you got a problem with me. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Let him cook. Let him cook. I'm not. <laughs> no, nah, that that that's that's all I'm saying. It's just if you if you got a problem with me, then come to me about it, right? If you want to talk to me, then talk to me. Don't don't come to my boy and talk to my boy about me instead of just coming to me and talking to me about it, right? Like that's that's the only that's the only thing. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna participate in your stuff. And cool, I have a poverty mindset. Whatever, I don't care. Like I'm not I'm not poverty. The like, funny part poverty. is, is you so, can, uh, so according is to Dave, is? you can have a poverty mindset, but but still. But still own your home, own two cars, right? Like, 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 like my life didn't matter before I met Dave. Like, wait a minute. So, what about the career I had where I spent 13 years serving this country? What about that? What like did that does that not matter? Like, do I still have a poverty mindset, even though I got like, come on, bro? Like, are you kidding? And <laughs> it's like you have a poverty mindset because you're not successful in trading. Like, fuck you, man. Like, bro. Oh my God! Well, don't, and the like crazy I thing said, is, most people up. don't start out being successful anyway. Like you said, Dave didn't start out being successful. Like he had to, he had to work. And and, and to be honest, to be completely honest, not to go too deep, but we got receipts on that too. If, if we if we really want to go, we we got we, we, got, we got a lot of different receipts. If we if we really want to go there, on all of so. it. But I don't like to play them games. I would rather just have a conversation. Hey, previous day low is acting as support down here, guys. Again, what we just talked about, right? <laughs> For the the, the, the buddy that, that got that started this, right? <laughs> For the buddy that started this. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I I feel like again. It seems like I started. Yeah, you did, Scott. You did. You did. It's, it's your, your fault. fault, Scott. It's your fault. You you lit this fire, Scott. <laughs> you lit this fire. Again, I try to stay away from the drama 
because I know where it leads. But sometimes it's like, I just like, again, I just hate bullies, man. I just hate bullies. But like CJ with the cheese is saying, people with sense know that play was most humans are going to think you when you pay for most humans, right? You think that they are trying to pay because they think they are getting some exclusive info. Exactly. That's why, like, <clears throat> the Discord members will tell you, right? The Discord members will tell you 100%. There is, I put out, Justin puts out videos about, like, prop firms on YouTube. But you can ask anybody that's in my Discord. I probably put out, I put out guaranteed five videos a week, market reviews, right, that don't go on YouTube. Usually on the weekends, I put out, like, two or three videos. But anytime I'm thinking about something, like we have a whole library of videos that are not available on YouTube. Why? Because that's what premium is for, right? You guys ask me questions on YouTube. Sometimes I get to the answers. Sometimes I answer the questions. Other times I just be like, nah, I ain't doing that. The Discord members for premium, for paying, they can literally DM me. I have my, my business line number pinned to the general chat. Where if you have personal questions, business questions, whatever, as long as you're not being weird, that's my only rule, right? You can text me, right? You're That's what you're paying for. You're paying for exclusive content and or rights to, not rights to, but like ex access, it's exclusive access. access to Justin and I. And you're getting all of that for 40 bucks, right? So when you come into somebody's mentorship and they basically telling you you in prison, you can't post in this. You can't post in this section, or you getting banned. You don't listen. That's a poverty you mindset. Like, you come on, purge, it's like, I'm purging. I'm purging. Like, come on, man. Like, who who like, are you, bro? So, so you're profitable. So now you, you, you got now. Get the fuck out of here. Like that. That's, that's, the, that's part the part that crazy I, just, part. I don't. I don't mess with, man. The the, cra the crazy part to me is like somebody who pays for 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 a service for you. And because they don't live up to your alleged expectations, well, I'm just gonna kick you out. Like refund or not, like, like it's it's just to, to me, it's, if I'm seeking information from you and I'm willing to pay you money, like at least for me, I'll do everything in my power to help you get to where you want to be, right? Like there's there's a certain level that I can't do for you in, in trading, right? Like there's a certain level of work you got to put in, but as long as you're willing to put in the work ask questions because questions means if somebody's asking you a question that means they're doing the work right because they have a question that they're trying to get answered which means they're actually doing things that they're supposed to be doing right exactly. like and 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 so for me it's like you should welcome questions questions should be the things that you you welcome right all day and if long. somebody if somebody asks if, if, if you have if somebody asks you the same question over and over and over and over again right or the same or like people are asking you the same thing then that should be a hint that okay maybe i should make a video answering you know, that question specifically answering and, that question and then and that way we do in our discord when somebody and, and asks the same question people to that oh. video and then it's no longer an asshole thing it's like hey man i got a lot of uh questions about the same thing so here's yeah. a video that you can reference answering that question that way i don't have to ask that that way i don't have to continue to answer that question over and over again and i can yeah. direct people to that video but when you have a four hour long video <laughs> where their answer is somewhere in that four hours like <laughs> That's ridiculous uh, to go in and be like, yeah, man, just watch video eight. And it's, it doesn't it's, make it's you lazy. Two hours, three minutes and five seconds. Yeah. Like, bro, it what? doesn't make you lazy if you're if people are paying you 150 bucks a month and they don't want to go and watch the entire thing. Instead, they're expecting their that's payment that, to allow true. a question to come out of that, right? An answer to come out of that. For $150, you better answer every single one of my questions. You see what I'm saying? Like, I just I just feel like I think that there's a difference between a profitable trader and a successful mentor right i think i think dave's a, a profitable trader but i think he's a shitty mentor right because <laughs> i i've been a mentor well before being trading right like i i mentor sailors which is a much harder task right i mentor divisions of marines leading them to afghanistan right and 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 tours across seas and that's not a rap line that's what i fucking did right like i led sailors i'm a true mentor that's trying to also become a profitable trader right i think that some people in this industry dave included need to go back and understand what it means to be a true mentor right and there's a delicate there's a delicacy that 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 is required to be a mentor <laughs>
and 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 I feel like that 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 level or that lesson has been skipped, right? Yeah. Plus, I mean, I think I think too like lean hog. Man, you take no lean hog, man. <laughs> it I probably think, is foolish. I think too like. <laughs> I don't, I, you know, the thing I don't understand though about like trading is already hard enough as it is. Like being being a dick to everybody does, just doesn't make sense to me. Like, it, it, man. It, there, there's, what, what's the what do you what do you gain out of it? But I mean, I mean, yeah, he I guess he he gains like some popularity. Not even it, it's popularity, but like for the wrong reasons, right? And like eventually, I think people catch on to it and they just. They get tired of it like they it, it 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 just it just don't make no sense to me it just don't like what's the what's the point like you i feel like like you you said this before i i really like this this analogy is like you know you catch you catch more bees with honey right yeah, like and, and the thing is 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 for more bees for, with for, honey not vinegar he uses yeah, vinegar instead of honey exactly and for, for and for and, and at least for for dave from like a business standpoint like when you grow, when you're growing, he, like he's almost growing his business on an island, right? An island where he goes to war with all these other traders' islands, yes. right? And like, those like, islands might be smaller than his island, so he's able to overpower those islands for a little bit. But what happens when this group of traders makes a nation against his one island, and everybody mm -hmm. leaves his island to go to the nation because the nation is where everybody else is at, right? Like we want to build a nation of traders that are dope and are together and want to see everybody win. Why you gotta hate? Like, why why Dave why is does... out here attracting traders to his island, but then he's kicking out unprofitable traders who like he deems unworthy, but eventually. Yeah nobody's gonna be with them because at the end of the day nobody really wants beef like everybody just wants to make money and be together and the crazy thing is that there's so much money in the market for everybody that there's no reason to fight over the money because everybody can win nobody has to lose so like what the fuck is the point yeah i agree uh sky says i was in date well first of all shout out to bud Bud says i can vouch for hobbs and jay's discord and absolute new as an absolute noob they have answered many of my dumbass questions. Which and none of and your not questions only that, are dumb. this is not an advertisement for our Discord versus Dave's Discord, just to be clear. But when people, I'm just I'm just giving you an example of true mentorship, right? When Dave, when when Bud comes in there and he asks all these new questions, you know what I say to myself? Okay, do I have a video specifically answering this question? If I don't, I, I write it down. And then on Saturday, I come in and I make videos because Bud's not going to be the last, the first, nor the last person that enters my mentorship or my my community and needs that question asked. Buyers are definitely stepping in down here, guys. I'm I'm just I'm reserved to this conversation. I'll trade the PM session. It is what it is. Yeah, but, I don't like the price action. But just just what we were talking about down at that previous day low, the origin of price, right? Like this is the level, this is the low that brought this high down here. This is what I was saying about your long. I mean about your short. You need to be out. I think you said 832 was your area to get out. But yeah, this was the low that brought the high right here. This is a new high right here, 100%. Okay. This was a new high, 100%. So when we came back down here, yeah, when we came back down here, we were, we were either coming to tap the 50% and or return to the point of origin that, bar, that brought the high, right? And that's why I was saying, watch the previous day low here for a potential bounce right here. And now you see the VIX selling down and potentially bulls getting filled here. The question is, is it another fake out or are we actually gonna take this high and leave this range, right? So. Yeah, I think, um, uh, I think I'm think i done trading until, until Powell. I, I need to see, I need to see this market break or until this market breaks out of this range. I, 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 yeah, I, I need to I see some like stronger trading. action. This just feels like consolidation. Yeah. And then Scott says, I was in Dave's mentorship for six months and had to leave for personal reasons. I get both your points and think they are valid too. It should have been another O right there, but I'm just messing with you. But being in there did help me so much with my trading. But since I stepped away, my confidence had grown. But I really do get your points. Yeah, I, again, let me be clear. As a profitable trader, right, and a person that's sharing that knowledge, the information that Dave is standing on is a hundred percent factual. It works. That's not what I'm arguing at all, right? That's not what I'm discussing whatsoever. To be clear, he can help a lot of people. I just think that he could do it without being a dick. That's that. That's it. I mean, that's just how I feel. If you disagree, then hey, it is what it is. We disagree. But 
I mean, I got the receipts of him being a dick multiple times. So, I mean, and, and I don't have to pull the receipts. Y'all know, because y'all ain't crazy. <laughs> uh, Custom Barbecue says, CL for the win. About to start getting ready for work like usual. Thanks for the show. Ain't no problem, Custom Barbecue. Uh, Voice says, I agree with you, Jay. In that one, I never beat with anyone. I can't even pay his water bill. Why do I act like I have to be the big head? Exactly. <laughs> um, Mr. Pot says, the B-Bike. But that honey sweet though, <laughs> apply that concept to trading. Don't let that get over your heads. I feel you. I feel you. Hold on, I'm cooking. Oh, okay. You out here dropping bars. All right. Boy says we supposed to take hedge fund money and fight against the system, not each other. I agree. I, I agree. Um, the market wants to go lower, but I think we coming back up to eighteen thousand one thirty. That's what I think. I think we. I think eighteen thousand is is the target right now. Stomping on business. <laughs> 1050 continuation i i agree i don't i don't think we're gonna get i don't think we're gonna get that 1050 reversal i think this is based off structure i think this might continue but we'll see uh cj with the cheese says i always say i don't know why people try and compete this is the one field where you don't have to compete to make money exactly only people i see do this is who sell something yeah i just that's, that's i mean true. we sell something but you don't see us out there competing and if anything we we trying to share the knowledge Right, share, share, because it's enough money, bro. Listen, y'all realize like when Justin and I become consistently profitable, right? We're to the point where we can make videos about our profitability. We never have to do a live stream, and we'll grow just as fast, if not faster. We never have to show up to Twitter, and we'll grow just as fast, if not faster. We never have to do an Instagram, any of that. You know why? Because there's an entire YouTube universe out there that will come to our Discord pay us the premium just off the short video clips that we post of our profits that's it i don't we don't have to be here we can grow this channel never showing up on on live stream as a matter of fact we get There's more views from our videos than we do from the live stream yeah i mean that's a fact right like that's that, that's a factual situation we get way more views from our videos than we do our live stream so why are we here we're here because we enjoy the education process right also it holds us accountable for our trading and we can have a track to go back to and look to see when we were profitable what we were doing all that good stuff right it's a journey that we're on that we're choosing to share with the world of youtube right but we don't have to be here we could like i said we could literally just make videos about this trade that trade whatever whatever and people will show up to the discord much faster but we're getting there all right shorts are coming in again CJ with the T says everyone can eat playing around the old equal lows. This will run for sure. Yeah, I think I think what I'm learning, Mr. Pot, is, is on days where the market is in a range, we get basically so many different views on the market, right? I've been bullish this whole time. Justin's been bearish this whole time. The Discord members have been bearish, bullish, bullish, bearish. You know why? It's because we're in a range, right? That's the that's the definition of a range. Look at this. Just zoom out to the 15 minute. And draw this pink box from the previous high right here, right? It brought us to this range, right? If you look at this, like that's all we're doing. We're just range bound. We're just ranging. And you can trade this range. You just got to know the rules of the range. One of the bigger rules is don't trade the middle, right? Don't get long or short right here. Trade the extremes, right? The range is shrinking. So like you could draw another little box, right? You say, OK, this is the overall range, but the new range right here is this high. Right. And this low right here. Right. So this is what we call our little chessboard in the um, in the discord. And that's why I'm updating the discord fam. Like, yo, be aware. Right. Don't get yourself cooked trying to play this like it's a regular day. It's not. It's not a trending day. If you suck at playing the ranges, you haven't practiced playing the ranges. Don't trade it. I suck at trading the ranges. I don't practice trading ranges often, so I'm not trading it. That's why I'm having the conversation on YouTube because I have no desire to trade this. Does it mean that I can't trade it? Yeah, probably. But do I care? No, right? Cash is a position too, right? I can stay cash today and just not trade this, skip today, go do everything that I need to do on the day. I don't lose anything. And I go back and wait for a day where the market's beneficial to the way that I like to trade. See. In the mentorship, they teach you how to trade ranges, but they you don't have to trade the range, right? You can know how to trade it, but you don't have to trade it. You can just wait for the market to trend. 
I choose not to trade it. Super. Yeah, every every day is also not a trading day to you. Like it doesn't have to be a trading day. And that's your like, opinion though, Jay. That's your opinion. Yeah, it is my opinion. Every, but exactly, but, exactly. But but, it, but it's also but it's also true, right? Every but the uh, the opposite the opposite is true too. Like every day can be a trading day, but it doesn't have yeah. to be, right? Like I think it doesn't have to be. Exactly. I think a lot of people, including myself, like I'll I'll almost feel forced to have to take a a, a trade. But to mm -hmm. be honest, like if your edge isn't present then you shouldn't be taking trades anyway that should be that should be what dictates your trades not not the market being open or closed not the candles moving up or down it's are my entry signals playing out if the answer is no then you don't trade if your entry signals play out in this range then take the trades because they're your trades the end my entry signals are not playing out in this range right like not at the moment currently i need to see certain things happen and the market's not doing it so i don't trade because what i think the problem is is that like everybody's desire to make money so it bad them makes to them trade, to take a trade yeah it forces you to take trades and to, it forces you to take dumb trades right and mm -hmm. the point of the money or the point of, of 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 being in the market it's almost like the nba where they say defense wins championships it's the same thing in the market defense wins championships right like so defend your capital if you're if you if the risk doesn't make sense to put your capital on the line then don't put your capital on the line right like i'm close to getting this account funded so I'm gonna take A plus plus setups. And right now I don't have an A plus plus setup, so I'm not gonna take it. There were a few I could have taken, but they would have been like C setups. And I'm not willing to take a C setup. I'm willing to take an A setup. So, you know, you gotta define your edge first. And once your edge is defined, then you could trade the market. And maybe it is every day could be a trading day, right? Dave's edge is present. Dave's all edge the time. is present 20, 30 times a day. But yeah, that doesn't make everybody edge else's so. edge trash. That just means that he's developed an edge that he he has every single day 30 times a day and i understand the edge i just don't want to expose myself to the market as much as he does right yeah. like i'm i'm just not interested in that right i think that that risk is well more than what i could risk trading one or two times a day exactly. right although it can be profitable it has to come with a high win percentage right it just has to and i'm not dissing it at all i'm just saying i understand the reason why he would do it right but it's not my edge i've learned what he's what he did for my edge was gave me much better entry criteria right and that's what i'm thankful for, for today for as always right i thanked him for being in his mentorship i thanked him for allowing me to come in for free right inviting me in but i also told him that our time had come to an end i've learned everything that i needed to know and i wanted to open up a space for somebody else but then he went on twitter and act like he kicked me out and that really pissed me off right i didn't respond but it really pissed me off right so i didn't respond because i was fearful i was i didn't respond because i'm a gentleman right and i was trying to keep it a buck and i don't like black on black crime right but he tested my fucking patience right so that's where we are with it but ali says i love your stream since i joined for the first time like two weeks ago i'm showing up almost every day appreciate you ali appreciate you uh again we're looking bullish again at the same level down here my surprise says, I'm not going to lie. I learned trading on YouTube. Uh, never really had a mentor, but over time it started clicking. And every day I learned something new. Let's go, man. Um, Pot says, I'm bullish as fuck on this. Yeah. I, I just I just don't see us coming down lower. I think we're building daily demand down here. Because we've been down here for over a day now. Like, I, I, if you look at it, like, I mean, the daily candle, the four-hour candle. I don't know if this is going to be daily demand or four-hour supply. I don't know. But I can tell you one thing, we the one thing we haven't done is broke the low, right? Or break the high. Therefore, we're just we're just in consolidation, right? Like, and honestly, I'm with Jay. Like, this consolidation doesn't bode well for my style of trading, right? And my edge isn't really present in this. Will it show up once we break out of this consolidation? Mm -hmm. It will. I know it will. Will I be here for it? I'm not sure. Will I be upset if I don't make money today? No. <laughs> no i won't be upset i'll just come back and trade tomorrow that's it all right um pot says i think the market is collecting orders around that level before we see a nasty breakout to the upside yeah they're gonna stop out a lot of people at them highs right oh tomorrow uh we break out or thursday could be i only look for a plus setups around major supply and resistance level that's all i do that and honestly that's all you really need i'm not gonna say that's all you really need to do that's my opinion but for the way that I trade, ultimately, that's that's all I really want to do. What I want to see 
what would really make me happy is after all of this consolidation before we leave this area we dumped really really fast into that four hour demand zone that green box you guys seeing right here that would make me really happy right like that would just complete everything that i want to see and then i would 100 percent be looking to take this market long off a tap of 775 that's what i would really like to see but right now the market's not giving me what i want so i'm just gonna stay away from it uh if you're not comfortable with how the market is acting paper traded to confirm new plays or confirm your rules no nope. I, I mean yeah yes yes i agree sorry custom barbecue i would i was gonna say that i agree like if you're not comfortable with it paper trade it right like i'm not comfortable trading this range but i also don't want to trade the range so like i'm not even going to paper trade it i don't care like i'm just going to go back to how i trade which is um i don't trade ranges i just don't i can teach you how to trade a range i know the rules of the range but it, i tell my discord all the time i know the rules of the range i know i know how to participate in price here i know exactly what you should do but my greed is too strong so i just say no i'm good I can teach you how to do it. Maybe you're not as greedy as me, but I just don't do it. Like I, I know it never works out for me because I, I will hold this trade too long because I'll be like, well, maybe this time it's going to break the high, right? That's what I'll tell myself. And then it doesn't. Or if I'm sure, I'll be like, you know, I'm going to hold this trade because maybe it'll break the low. And then next thing you know, I'm I'm down too much. I was like, you know, I'm just going to go to break even. Maybe it won't go that high. And then it just pushes straight through. Like, that, that I mean, that's just, psychologically that's what happens to me in the range right and i understand that so but yes the vix is going downward something is brewing yep there's a lot of buying going down here we're down to 1770 on the vix we're 100 percent building building value to the upside 100 percent. cousin barbecue says i feel you yeah i mean i'm just keeping it a buck yeah like i'm a trader right at the end of the day i have emotions but the one thing i'm learning is i'm learning myself right you guys have seen us trade for the last six or seven months and you've seen the ups, you've seen the downs, you've seen the days where I go quiet, Justin goes quiet. We don't want to talk no more. We're ready to get off stream. You guys have seen the growth. And I think the last step, the last phase in being a trader is understanding what type of trader you want to be, right? It doesn't mean that you have to be the type of trader that your mentorship is, right? I have a community of traders. I have ICT traders, supply and demand traders, trend line traders, right? Like it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, do you understand structure and can you apply a, a strategy to that based off structure, right? And, and that's what you should be more focused on. As this market gets ready to absolutely explode here, in my opinion, I think we're about to get ready to push. We're pushing into that 11 o'clock hour. Apple, Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA are starting to really look like they're about to get aggressive here. rally base rally on NVIDIA on the one hour. rally base rally on microsoft on the one hour a potential rally based rally setting up on meta and amazon um and google well google's in a downtrend yeah right? google bounce right off my level 155 21 mm. for the win yep and the market looks extremely bullish down here like i said i i've never once been bearish on this i i entertain what the market is potentially could do to the bear side but the, the bear side just didn't make any sense all of the all of the macros are overlapping which tells you you're just literally in consolidation all of these macros from 250 to now we've been overlapping so that's that's accumulation before expansion if i've ever seen it right like that's the definition of accumulation before expansion so if you're an ict trader i've learned that not because i watched the videos but because like i said a couple of my members are ict traders so you'll be teaching me shit. so gold anyone let's take a look at gold i think uh valdez is in gold one of our discord members is oh my god no, oh my looking, god he was looking to short gold so he definitely ain't in gold oh no oh. He, or he was in a short yeah gold has left the building it, it smoked that 90 minute supply zone smoked it it yeah, smoked I'd be, that thing i'd be looking to short gold up at 24 22 two now yeah that one two hour, hour. Oh, yeah. two hour one hour yeah i got that one too i i wrote the 90 minute one because it caused the broke break of structure but the market did basically what it's been doing which it just doesn't respect those supply zones in between ranges mm. there's a lot of buying going on right now like a lot of buying going on right now Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we know, Emmett. We know. Oh, I know. We know, Emmett. We we were like, I said, I know Emmett is dog walking this market in this range right now. He said, y'all should know, I'm loving this range right now. Yes, we know, Emmett. <laughs> are not for beginners at all you got to have basic understanding of the market yeah i think i think a lot of ict traders make the mistake of uh not having a basic understanding of structure before they understand before they try to understand a strategy because however you want to look at it ict is a strategy it's not it's not the how the market moves it's a strategy based on how the market has moved right so what you need to do in my opinion is you need to um, under have a basic understanding of structure before you walk into, you know, trying to learn ICT or any other strategy, right? Like I think structure is the basis of everything. And once you understand structure, then you can start to add strategy, whichever strategy that is you want to pick, you know, I have a specific strategy, right? But it right now, my, my edge is in prison. Like my, the way that I, the way that I trade, right? I, I'll show you guys, right? Like this is really simple. My, my trading strategy is simple. I look for three things, right? One, extremes, supply and demand, right? Supply and demand. If we're at an extreme on a supply or demand, I'm 100% interested in reversing the market going the opposite direction. Number two, supply and demand <laughs> on a five minute time frame, right? If the market is not at a higher time frame, supplier demand i allow the market to create supplier demand on a five minute time frame that five minute time frame has to cause a break of structure right this is a good setup here but i didn't recognize it soon enough but also i also recognize on a broader view we were in consolidation so i just wanted to pass what i need from the market on a five minute supply zone and i'll show you guys one example right right here i believe yeah this is the trade we called out yesterday right this was at one two no this was it right here yeah all right so this right here this is a basing candle right here right we had a basing candle on the five minute a, a drop base drop right here and i said hey if price can come back into this area on the five minute i'm looking to short it from 123 into 145 anywhere in this spot in this box i'm looking to short the market well when price comes to this area i'm not watching it on the five minute i'm watching it on the 15 second chart right because i already know exactly what i want to see on the 15 second chart because i've trained for it right i'm built for this shit, right on the 15 second chart we break structure to the downside we what i'm anticipating now is a retest of this structural area we come back up and we retest the 15 second chart. We retest the box at the 15 second second chart. And now I can look to trade this market short. I can either take the early entry at 129, or I can wait for this to break down and take this second entry at 113. Either way I go, I'm in here at 113. I could put my stops at 127, giving myself about 14 points of risk, and then I'm shorting the market. That's it. I look for aggressive buying, aggressive selling with supply and demand into it. But I use structure, right? I use my understanding of structure to get the entry that I want. That's it. My strategy is very, very simple. It's very, very simple. And what it doesn't calls for, again, I do know how to trade this. And I don't care if you believe me or not. I do know how to trade it, but I'm telling you why I don't trade it. I don't trade it because I know I'm too greedy to trade it. That's knowing yourself as a trader. That's maturity right i know i'm too greedy to trade this i already know what i'm gonna be looking for you know how i know trial and error pain discomfort right like i'm not built for that right that's not how i'm built and that's okay i've resided like i've, I've come to the conclusion i'm not built for this but if i were gonna trade it i would be looking for shorts up here because we're in a range but my shorts need to be out at the break of 831 right if i'm looking to trade this i'm looking for longs down here right but i need to be out at that high right there but you see how like for me this is a little much like i just like for me this is just a little much this range is just too tight when i could just wait for another day of trading or later on in the day for this move right here 
right? Like, I could just wait for this setup. Because this setup could potentially pay me. The range probably could pay me even more. I don't care how you get the money. But I know what, what, what fits me. And this fits me. This is what I want to trade. The market doesn't look like it's going to give that today. At least until Powell speaks. And I won't even be here for that. So as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather just have a shop talk conversation. Right? And discuss price along the way. But as far as like actually trading this, I'm good. Yeah, this range is cancerous. <laughs> I mean, but for most people, for some people, they they love this. And I, and I understand it. But I will never diss somebody for their preference. And I think that's where, you know, the whole problem with Dave is, is like he disses people that don't do what he does. Right. And that, I think that's just irresponsible. Right. Like. At the end of the day, that's all I'm really saying. Really saying. Probably scalpers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scalpers get paid though. Don't, don't, don't fade scalpers, bro. This is definitely a scalpers day right now. I'm just not a scalper, right? Do I understand? Like I said, do Justin and I understand how to play this range? Yeah, we understand it. Do I want to trade it? Nope. Zero desire. Zero yeah. desire. I get cooked in these ranges. Like, I don't. I I don't like trading ranges. I'm just not a fan. I could have taken the long down there, but I just, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I would much rather allow this to break out and kind of choose a direction because the I want to cap. Up, baby. It's mm -hmm. chosen a direction. I said the direction's up. No question about it. I just need to see it break and come back and retest this, this range. But yeah, the yeah, direction's uh, up. The market yeah, has spoken. I would much rather we, we still on the five minute at least we haven't yet broke we haven't closed above the previous high i want to see it close above i want to see us get the fuck out of this range i don't care about any of that until we get above 940. we get above 940 i'm looking to trade this market if we if we don't get above 940 this thing can do whatever <laughs> it wants to do and gold has absolutely left the building but it's getting ready it's getting rejected here at the previous day high 2409 was a really nice rejection right there Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't any rejection on NQ. Yeah, I like I like gold at twenty three eighty eight. That's what I like. I'm gonna put a put a little alert right here so I don't forget about it. Yeah, I like I like 2388 for gold. Maybe we come down a little later, but definitely gonna put an alert if I'm home. I got a I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do today, but I like this. I like that supply and demand. Um I like that demand push on the five minute and then a retest of 2389 through roughly about 2383. That's why I'll be looking to trade gold if it comes back down. I'm gonna set an alert above. I'm gonna set an alert above 2395 as we're crossing right there, so I know that we're crossing below that low. I'll set alerts for longs right there. I like that setup. That looks good. All right, longs on gold. Alert set. Uh, I think I'm done, Jay. I, I, I'm ready to go for my walk because I gotta. Uh, I gotta go to the to the uh to the tax people at eleven. Or I gotta go at twelve. Have y'all ever trade the DAX? No. DAX is a sleeper. No, I never traded the DAX. I traded the the, the Dow. No, DAX. never traded the DAX. Oh, is can you trade the DAX futures? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what the DAX is. What is it? It's a. It's like a German indice. Do not, I said, do not be late <laughs> i won't be late bro. i won't be late it's literally yeah, I'm right cool. I'm down. <laughs> you good all right cool I yeah, was yeah, yeah. You, you to respond i'm like it's he's gonna respond at some point but no no, no I, I heard you ladies and gentlemen today um two trades for me well three trades for me flat on one profit on two um they were quick scalps which i hate doing but I did secure profit, so I'm 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 happy with that. I was expecting a breakout of the high, which is a reason why I don't scout because I'm always expecting a breakout of the high or the low. Uh, but the one thing that I learned today is uh, cash is a position, and mat and maturity is real, right? As we grow as traders, Justin and I are on this journey together. 
we're learning ourselves, which is more important than making money, right? Because if you learn yourself and you, you lock into who you are as a trader, you'll be able to continuously make money in the long term. I know who I am. And more importantly, I know who I'm not, right? Therefore, thank you guys so much for tapping in. Justin, what are your thoughts on your, on your trading day, Eric? No, you mean lack, lack thereof? <laughs> yeah, but you still read the market. Uh, I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the market's choppy. I might I might look to take some scalps on another account that uh, just just to, just for practice more than anything else. But okay. yeah, smaller size. Yeah, well, yeah, with smaller size. Like I'm, I might look to do that for the rest of the day, but I'm not really looking to trade on my on my main accounts just because this is not my style of trading. But yeah, yeah, just just stick to your style. Whatever your style of trading is, just stick to that. And you know, if you want to practice something different, then do it on an account you don't care about or paper trade it. So, yeah, no doubt. But uh, we appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're pushing toward twelve hundred. Is it twelve hundred? I think we're pushing toward twelve hundred subs. So yeah. if you guys haven't your first time tuning in, make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe button. In here, we call that tipping the barber. If you want to support outside of tipping the barber with the like and subscribe button, please make sure if you're using Apex take profit or top step apex code for me is scrolling across the bottom down here justin's apex take profit and top step codes are in any of his videos that he put out there that being said we appreciate each and every one of you guys that guy over there i'm on a roll now jay that guy over there is jay seals <laughs> my name is t hobbs this is the trader shop and we'll catch you guys on the next one man peace Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 did you hit the, the, the end stream button? Yeah, it's in the stream. It's just it's just loading back here. It's, it's probably done already on YouTube. Having trouble connecting. Oh, 